During general anesthesia, hypnotics, opioids, and neuromuscular blocking agents need to be titrated to meet the patient's individual needs, adjust drug delivery to perioperative events, and to avoid under- and over-dosage situations. Neuromuscular blocking agents are used to facilitate tracheal intubation and enhance surgical exposure. Adequate control of the quality of neuromuscular blockade during surgery is necessary to the safe and successful outcome of the surgery, as inadequate paralysis and residual paralysis can endanger the patient. Post-operative residual paralysis may lead to critical respiratory events, longer hospital stay, and re-intubation. Evidence suggests that, despite use of subjective neuromuscular monitoring techniques, a large percentage of patients arrive to the post-anesthesia care unit with residual paralysis. Objective quantitative monitoring, such as the use of GE, neuromuscular transmission monitoring, is the only means to safely indicate recovery of neuromuscular block. Adequate recovery from neuromuscular block means a return of chain of four ratio to greater than 90%. Studies have shown that the implementation of quantitative neuromuscular transmission monitoring resulted in a significant reduction in the incidence of incompletely reversed patients in the PACU. Another major concern for patients undergoing general anesthesia is the unintended intraoperative awareness with explicit recall. This occurs at an incidence of 1 to 2 cases per 1,000 and is often associated with incidence of post-traumatic stress disorder, approaching 50% two years after the incident. The use of EEG-based depth of anesthesia monitoring, such as GE entropy, is recommended during general anesthesia in patients considered at higher risk of adverse outcomes. The Enhanced Recovery After Surgery Consensus Statement strongly recommends the use of depth of anesthesia monitoring to prevent awareness, as well as to minimize anesthetic side effects and facilitate rapid awakening and recovery. They also strongly recommend to always monitor neuromuscular functions when using neuromuscular blocking agents to avoid residual paralysis. Entropy monitoring combined with neuromuscular transmission monitoring on the B105, B125, B155M patient monitors help to achieve a sense of balance for the patient in the operating room. These advanced parameter technologies offer accurate and reliable patient monitoring and provide clinicians with tools to better personalize patient care.